This day is quite important. It's about acknowledging the contribution of the British generation that came to Britain from the period of 1948 onwards. And even though there's been a black presence in Britain going back 2000 years or more, it's really that period of moment in British history where a lot of people who came to the mother country and they thought they were invited to come here and to contribute to help rebuild Britain after the Second World War. And this is quite important because a few weeks after the, the Empire of Windrush, which stopped in Tilbury on the 22nd of June 1948, on the 5th of July, we had the creation of the NHS. And there has been a very strong link and umbilical cord between migration, the Windrush generation, but also other people from other parts of, of the Commonwealth, from Africa, from Southeast Asia, and, and from Europe itself, and, and the establishment of the NHS. That is why it's important that we celebrate the 75th anniversary of Windrush alongside the 75th anniversary of the creation of the NHS. Both of these moments in time come together to show and highlight the importance of delivering high quality healthcare for the population of Birmingham and Solihull, Hall, but also the role of, of the NHS and the contribution of our black and racialized communities to the NHS nationally as well. On a personal level, I've been involved on this personal journey for campaigning for a National British Day. Uh, I made a documentary some years ago called The Charm Life, which um, is going to be shown at the BFI, South Bank, um, on the 24th of June. And I made this film uh, called Charm Life about one particular individual, his name was Eddie Martin Noble, born in Jamaica in 1925, served in the Second World War. And, um, I got to know him in his twilight years and he, and he died suddenly at the age of 90 uh, in East London. One of the things he get, um, before his death, he gave me his radiogram. The radiogram is quite important in Caribbean households and all communities in many ways in terms of bringing people together, music, etc. And I had the opportunity that the repair shop have re repaired the radiogram that was gifted to me by Eddie so you can watch that, uh, me, and um, talking about the radiogram uh, on the repair shop. It's going to be televised on 21st of June, but you can watch it on BBC iPlayer. But making that documentary, which I did back in 2008, inspired me to campaign for National Windrush Day. Uh, Windrush Day itself was the creation of Sam King, the Windrush pioneer, also a Second World, Second World War II veteran. And Windrush Day is quite important because it's about celebrating the contribution of the Windrush generation to Britain, but importantly, recognising the contribution of migration to Britain as well. And definitely in terms of us as health and social care professionals, it's, it's celebrating equality, inclusion and diversity and what makes the NHS great and what makes it tick is it, it's dependent on talent, but more, so more importantly, it's recognised that talent needs to be nurtured, supported and retained. If we want to have an inclusive workforce and to make sure that we're on theatres, um, in primary care services or in, even in the boardroom we have that, that representation of diversity and inclusion at all levels as well. So let's acknowledge Windrush Day, let's celebrate and, and acknowledge the Windrush pioneers. I know that there are many NHS organisations doing a whole range of events around Windrush Day but also throughout the whole of June and leading up to Black History Month. So I want to acknowledge those Windrush pioneers who have helped to create and support the NHS and for us to recognise their contribution and deeds as well, as we try and inspire a new generation of British pioneers to also work with the NHS and to make the NHS a service that we're all proud of. Happy Windrush Day to everyone and recognise the importance of our contribution as well.